Do you have a car? If yes, click the subscribe button now. Believe us, sooner or later you will need our help. We bet that you had to replace a burnt out headlight bulb at least one time in the past. Don't go to an expensive dealer for a simple bulb replacement. Subscribe to this channel and save time and money. Here you will find the best in the world information about halogen, xenon, and LED headlights. Based on more than 20 years experience, we will also show you how to troubleshoot and repair your headlights. Subscribe, camera, action, lights. Now, this is the second reason. Now I will show you how to replace your Xenon igniter at Volkswagen Golf Mark V and Jetta's Xenon headlights. As you can see, your Xenon igniter is located inside the headlight. You have to just turn the back cover counterclockwise and you will see your igniter there. The orientation of the igniter at Golf Mark V uh, Xenon headlights is 90 degree. It's vertically, perfectly vertically aligned. In order to remove, let's begin with the replacement of the igniter and I will show you some details that you will never ever find in anywhere, even most of the uh, official services do not know the, uh, these details. Now, in order to, there are a lot of videos uh, uh, showing how to remove this igniter, but as I told you, I will give you some details that you cannot find anywhere. You have to turn the igniter counterclockwise. It's a quarter turn and the plug the igniter plug will be released automatically. You don't have to do anything. I will tell you, I, I, later I will show you how the system works. And then you have to, you have to just pull the igniter off. This is, assuming that this is faulty one, pretty much if, if you have a, a xenon igniter failure diagnosis, probably you will have a similar looking xenon igniter. In order to replace the xenon bulb, you have to turn the, there is a plastic retainer, bulb retainer inside. You have to turn quarter counterclockwise the retainer bulb retainer and it will release also here and you can see your bulb it's D2S type xenon bulb you can use any type uh, of xenon bulb whether it's standard type whether it's tuning type or whether it's a best performance type as long as the uh, bulb type is D2S even if you want, you cannot fit any other bulb without making any stupid modification. As you can see, one clever guy here used D2R bulb, probably in a projection type headlight, and he just break the notches, cut off notches there in order to fit, but it's illegal and you will end up with a, a lot of trouble if if you engage in an accident. Anyway, this is not the issue, our topic today. In order to replace the xenon bulb at the igniter, let's assume that this is the new bulb. You have to just align the bulb correctly. You will see that there is a on top there is a square notch here. Basically, this is a standard standard uh, D2S cutoff in order to make possible only fitting this type of bulbs you just have to put the bulb there and let me show you the some details before proceeding 
Actually, this is the retainer, bulb retainer at your Mark V Golf Xenon headlight. If you pay attention, that's the detail that I am talking about. There is one number on the bulb retainer. Here it says 128. 128. This, this is used, basically this numeration shows you the position of the Xenon igniter when it's fitted. You will see that there, there are a lot of other bulb retainers, bulb adapters. You will see that here it's 130. There is another one. These are four types. 129, 128. So basically all these four retainers, bulb retainers are interchangeable. The difference is that when you see these numbers, these numbers are showing you the position of the igniter once fitted. So whether indeed, in short, uh, these bulb retainers shows you whether your igniter will be placed like this or like this, horizontally, or upside down, or the fourth position. This is the difference. If you have it, if someone or you have changed your uh, Xenon headlight before and somehow you end up with different uh, bulb retainer, in that case, you will not be able to fit your Xenon igniter 90 degrees, but it, it will be depending on which number you have on your retainer clip. Depending on this number, you will have to check which position fits your igniter. Basically, Xenon uh, Golf 5 and Jettas are using 128 position, with, which is 90 degree, which enables fitment 90 degree. And it will be, it's actually the best position. I will show you that in a second. Let's continue with the bulb fitment here. Once you fit the D2S Xenon type bulb, you will have to fit the retainer clip just observe the openings the openings at both sides because the xenon bulb d2s and all other d2r they are round and there are two pins on each side so you have to observe the openings on the retainer clip as well basically at Mark V, at Mark V and Jettas, the metal sheet, metal sheet uh, is located at 5 o'clock position. And then you will, here, 5 o'clock position. The metal piece should be at 5 o'clock position before lock locking the mechanism. And after that, you just have to Turn it clockwise, quarter, uh, quarter turn, and it will lock. If it's not locking, do not push hard, because it means that something you are doing something wrong. Once locked, you will see that the metal piece underneath is, look, is at 6 o'clock position. Now, your xenon bulb is fixed and now you have you can install the xenon igniter and in order to do that again you have to observe the openings there are four openings for the xenon igniter legs even if you want you cannot uh, you cannot put the igniter in a different position 
at, at this retaining clip, which is 128, it, the correct position of the igniter is a little bit counterclockwise position. You just have to, but before that, it's very important, as I told you, in order not to break the xenon igniter and uh, end up with a useless ign igniter again, you have to observe, pay attention to the ring underneath the igniter. There is a white yellow ring there, as you can see. The openings of the igniter black frame, the notch, square notch here, the cutoff, and the opening of the yellow white ring should be aligned here. If, if it's not aligned, you will end up with a broken igniter. If it's like this, you see right now the, there is a mismatch between the opening of the igniter, the frame of the, the notch and the, and the hole within the yellow white ring here. And in this case, if you try to fit the xenon bulb, you will, you will fit it, but it somehow it's not correctly fitted right now. And you will not be able to remove it once fitted wrongly when you are replacing the xenon bulb in the future. And in this position, the connection between the connection between the bulb bottom and the voltage uh, voltage handles uh, connectors inside the xenon igniters will not be uh, will not be solid. So, in order not to end up with a, another useless igniter. In short, you have to pay attention to the openings. You have to align them before fitting to the bulb. Here is the system indeed. Let, let me show you another detail, which is very important. The, when, the L, when the openings, the notches are correctly aligned, your there is a stopper inside the xenon igniter as you can see it's a yellow one or white one it can be also a black one i have seen also the black version there is a stopper there and once fitted it's only a, uh, it's a only a quarter turn stopper once fitted the bulb inside the igniter and lock it quarter, quarter turn clockwise the stopper inside will go down enabling xenon igniter plug to go in basically let me show you here is the quarter turn this is the only movement that should be performed during the xenon igniter or xenon bulb replacement. If you push it hard or turn it hard, more than quarter, tur quarter turn, then you will break this stopper and the ring inside will move all around, will move 360 degrees, which will make in, in, in time your igniter to burn. So now we double check that the alignment is correct. The openings of the frame of the xenon igniter and the rings is correct. Now we can fit it. As I told you before, it's a bit counterclockwise position. 
like 120 degree just push it gently if it's not entering then don't push it hard otherwise uh, you will break something and you you just have to turn it clockwise now it's 90 degree and the last tape step is just put the igniter plug in and you are done let me show you uh, indeed the difference between now you, you will understand what I mean by if you have a different bulb adapter retaining clip what will be the result let's make let's use 130 here you will see 130 as I told you this determines your igniter fitting position again the fitment is exactly the same let me let me put fix the bulb first again the metal piece underneath will be at 5 o'clock position and you will turn it counter turn now even if you want you cannot fit your just observing the openings again even if you want you cannot fix fit your igniter in this position no more it's you will not be able to so as in the previous one you saw that it was a vertically positioned but since this retaining retaining clip openings are different it's it will be a upside down fitment indeed again this is the same just the position of the igniter will igniter plug will be at a different place here again it's the same thing but when you know that you have a different number than 128 you have to just check the correct position or i will show you another tip that many of the even the official dealers do not know here you can see if you make a mistake while fitting you will end up also with a broken retainer clip that's why it's very important to pay attention and not to all the tails and not pushing hard if if it's not going uh, straight it means that something is wrong in order to have the best solution or not to risk your xenon igniter legs or your retaining clip you can simply break these little uh, circles there here you have here you have you, you have you can simply break them let me show you what I mean you can simply break them now now you, you can fit the igniter in another position here you have two more here and you can also break them in in such a way you can fix your igniter install your igniter in desired position whatever position it is you will be able to fix it more easily that's all guys for Volkswagen Golf Mark 5 and Jetta Xenon igniter replacement uh, the next video will be about troubleshooting of low beam failures in, in other words uh, I will show you how to identify the faulty part in these headlights in case of low beam failure whether the ballast unit the igniter or the bulb thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel take care all the best